Hi folks, I thought I'd uh, just do a bit of a video diary update on the uh, progression of me planting out of me, uh, me dome. Uh, this is the big one over here that I'm using uh, for me brassicas this year. Uh, so we'll, uh, we'll go in and show you uh, how we've started off. It's the 13th of April today. So uh, going into the dome I made this uh, the pathway that looks quite religious I have to say. <laughs> just the way it turned out. Um, so I've planted out uh, now everything in here. In this first quadrant we've got cauliflower. These are from plug plants that I purchased from a garden centre today. So they're all cauliflower. Uh, I've also lined the, uh, the pathways with onions, uh, mainly because I'd just run out of anywhere else to put them and I uh, thought they'd be right in here. Uh, I don't know if you can see all of the plants here. I've got uh, these uh, wool pellets to try and keep the slugs out but the um, the skirt of the debris netting is buried about a, a foot into the uh, ground anyway so I'm hoping that that will keep a few slugs out, time will tell. So that's the first quadrant and the second quadrant I've got a couple of extra cauliflowers at the back and the rest is planted out with uh, purple sprouting broccoli. Again I've got plenty of the wood pallets around. The uh, next quadrant is um, cabbage. Uh, planted them away from the edge to make sure that uh, you know they've got plenty of head height and then coming around to the last one there we've got red cabbage um, so I'm looking forward to see how they go and how they, how they grow so I've been speaking to a couple of manufacturers of um, mesh netting today uh, to look at an alternative to using the um, the debris netting that I've been using so far because uh, I don't know, I worry about the uh, the possibility of you know, what people might think about these these bigger holes that you get in the uh, debris netting. I'm sure they'd be fine for not letting cabbage whites through and things like that, but uh, just thought I'd find out what else is available. And I'm also speaking to a polytunnel plastic company about um, making one pretty soon with a proper plastic UV protected uh, skin to use as like a proper, uh, a proper greenhouse. So. Uh, Watch this space, and uh, I'll no doubt do another one of those when I uh, one of these videos when I get that sorted. Okay, draft now.